Okay, so the first time I saw Fakhri was in grade 9 and I think it's truly inspirational because what happened was, you know, that transition between, uh, you know, uh, middle school to high school, you know, some people are actually a little worried, I guess, but I, obviously I wasn't. <laughs> but uh, what Fakhri was doing was, you know, he was walking around the class and he was, you know, assuring everybody that, you know, you know, that transition or whatever, how hard it would be, it wouldn't be hard. And, you know, he'd give them a hug. When I first met Manal, I thought she was really quiet and sweet. Clearly, I was wrong because she's actually probably one of the most savage fobs I think I'll ever meet. I once made the very regretful decision of having a lip sync battle with her to a Bollywood song. Long story short, she ruined me and completely crushed my self esteem. Let's just say she's quite. but the knees. Ahmed Rolan, huge head. I lied. He's my waist cactus still. I've known him for like six years or, so, or something like that. Um, best of luck for your upcoming years. We're going to separate unis, but we'll stay in touch. So yeah, peace. Oh my God, Aya though, she's always saying, what does shmink like? What does that even mean? And then before every single chemistry test, she's always telling me not to worry about all of this. And then she'd come up to me like, Aisha, I got a 99% on the test, and then she'll ask me, did you get 22.57 on question number 6? And I'm like, no, I got Abraham Lincoln, like, I don't even know what to do. And like, I, like, man, you gotta stop. Is that good? <laughs> Mashallah, Abdullah, he has the, one of the best personalities I've ever seen in my life. He's the funniest guy I've ever met, and he's the most genuine. And if there's anyone that can get a crowd going, it's him. MashaAllah, he has room in his heart for everyone, and I hope to continue on our friendship for the rest of my life. Okay, when I first met Zainab, I didn't really like her because she seemed really rude. Turns out she actually is rude, but um, somehow we became friends. But despite her um, attitude, uh, she's one of the most genuine people I know, and I'm glad I got to know her this year. Okay, so uh, Zaid's a funny guy. He's the, one of the first persons that I met at ISNA. Uh, he's a nice person, every now and then offensive, but like he's one of the funniest persons I've met in grade 12. Uh, I'm glad that I spent grade 12 making fun of him. I'm joking, but like, <laughs> kill, kill the whole thing, bro. And then, <laughs> that's so bad. Keep going, keep going, that's so good. Uh, and yeah, I'm happy that Zaid was a good friend of mine. Aisha. Aisha's love for fries is too real. Four days ago, we bought her lar a large fries from McDonald's, and then she decides to buy a large box of fries from Pizza Pizza, and then she mixes them, she mixed them all together, and she started eating them. And then a few hours ago, she just told us that she still has those fries in her fridge. I think sometimes Aisha values her love for fries more than her love for her her, her love for her friends. So you might want to reevaluate your life sometimes. <laughs> Me and Neriman started off as acquaintances and recently we've become extremely close. And she is a light-hearted, witty, special potato. <laughs> and I'm honestly going to miss her from the bottom of my heart and good luck with university, friend. Okay, so when I first met Dana, I thought she was a very weird person and I couldn't really, um, like I couldn't approach her. But we met at UTM and it was really fun with her and after a while, me and Dana Zainab and two other people decided to go to Dimitri's and have ice cream together but the other two people decided to give us the wrong location and it was crazy because Dana was screaming at the phone and then we were screaming at the other people because they gave us the wrong location. At the end we went to the right um, Dimitri's and we had a really fun time and I, though that's one of the earliest memories I have of Isna and I'm happy for that. Alright, starting? Okay, uh, so I'm having Yusuf, this is my day one, my family, we go back 
literally to birth. Um, we used to sleep in the same bed, eat the same food, but magically he gained like five, five inches on me. That's, why he's the, that's the only reason why he's better than me at basketball. That's it. Okay. So Ali was the one guy who was always a good friend. He had all the traits of a, of a good guy and he was always there for me when I needed him. But the only thing he was lacking was a passport. But that doesn't matter, because he was the one guy that I choose to travel around the world with. Okay, so the first time I met Ahmed Halim, uh, I gotta say, I was like, this is one of the biggest Bindus I've ever met. But, like, if he told me he grew up in a cave in Pakistan, I'd believe him. But, like, after I got to know him better, and, like, I've only known him for two years. He came to Islam in grade 11, but I, I think he's one of my best friends in Islam. And, like, when I talk to him, I feel like I've known him, like, my whole life. And this guy, it's, I think we have a lot of similarities, I think. Uh, high demand from parents, uh, doctor future. And uh, I think, like, overall, I just feel that Halim is, like, one of the best friends I've ever had. Um, I'm glad I met Isa in the beginning of our, my high school career, and I'm gonna miss him after we graduate. Uh, I... uh, about Farhaj, Farhaj has been a good friend of mine since grade two. I've known him a long time, alhamdulillah. Uh, it's been a good number of years. Uh, I, was I was really happy to see him again when I came back to high school, alhamdulillah. Uh, he helped me a lot. Uh, he helped me a lot with school, a lot with uh, you know other things. He's an inspirational figure, mashallah. Strong hafiz. He kept me, you know, uh, kept me motivated a lot of times when I wasn't motivated. And I think that's the most important uh, interaction I had with Farhad. He helped me, you know, throughout high school. Um, I'm gonna be talking about Walid Qureshi. Um, he came in this year, same as. Same as me. First time I saw him, I thought he was really like he's really about his stuff. He's chill. Um, he's real friendly and he's really good at ball. Um, other than that, then yeah, I don't I don't know what else to say. Yeah. God damn, that's it, bro. <laughs> When I first met Klaus, we didn't really talk that much, but just recently we got really close and now she's one of my best friends. She's one of the most kind and genuine people I know, even though she's kind of weird sometimes because sometimes she talks to herself and it's really funny. Assalamu alaikum graduates of 2016. Four. You know what four stands for? the number of years that you guys have been here. You know what also stands for? The number of years I've been here. The cool part is I've seen you guys grow up from day one, you guys know, some of you guys know in grade nine geography from our first activity, to some of you guys now in my grade 12 class uh, in my challenge and change course. Um, as you move on to, uh, to university, my advice for you guys will be to really choose your friends wisely. And the reason why I say that is because, again, for the next four years are going to be so important for the rest of your lives. So again, choose your friends wisely. And once you have those friends, keep them close to you. And inshallah, the rest will be history. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.